Hello and welcome. You may know that it's important to match your bank transactions with those in your QuickBooks. This is what we'll focus on in this video. Reconciliation is the periodical process of matching transactions that you have entered in QuickBooks with the bank or credit card company's records. That is either your bank or credit card statement. Dr. Sampad is worried about the quarter end nearing and pending reconciliation of accounts. John tells him how easy and fast the process is in QuickBooks. But Dr. Sampad is lost. He has no idea how to start the reconciliation process, but he has John to guide him in the right direction. John is happy to walk him through the process of reconciliation. Isn't that something that you would want to know too? Let's look at it then. Log in to your QuickBooks account. Click the gear icon at the top right corner of the home screen. Now, select Reconcile under Tools. You will be taken to a Reconcile screen. To start the reconciliation process, choose the account you want to reconcile under the Account drop-down list. Now enter the statement ending balance amount and under ending date column, enter your statement end date in the calendar drop down tab. Click start reconciling when you are done. A reconcile screen is displayed with a list of the transactions, statement ending balance, cleared balance and difference of reconciliation. If you want to change the ending statement balance and ending date, click Edit Info at the top right hand corner. If you want to continue the reconciliation process sometime later, click on the drop down tab on the top right corner and select Save for later. And to cancel the process, click Close without saving. To reconcile the account, Take a look at the transaction history on your bank statement. You have to match each transaction from your bank statement with an item in the list. Click on the checkbox to the right of each transaction to the ones that match. If you are looking for a particular transaction to match, click the filter icon drop down. Filter the list based on name, reference number, amount, date, type and so on. Now. Click Apply to find the list of transactions as per the filters. Once you are done selecting and get the difference value on the top right as 0, click Finish Now. On Successful Reconciliation of your account, click Done. If you want a reconciliation report, click View Report. A detailed report of your reconciliation will be displayed. You can print this report by clicking on the print icon. Great! Dr. Sampad is happy to finish all the reconciliation tasks right away once he has learned how easy it is. But Dr. Sampad made an error while reconciling. How is this to be fixed? Not to worry. Reconciliations can be undone without any hassle in QuickBooks. Select Accounting from the left navigation bar and click Reconcile. Now, click Register on the top to view bank account history. The bank account history screen shows a list of all the bank transactions. To undo a reconciliation, find the transaction that needs to be unreconciled. Under the Reconcile field, as you see here, a C implies cleared and an R implies reconciled. Click on the reconcile box to change the option. To undo the reconciliation, leave the box blank. Once you are done, don't forget to click save. An alert message pops up asking you to confirm the action. Click yes to continue. Now continue this process for each transaction you want to unreconcile. That solves Dr. Sampad's problem. And while John helped Dr. Sampad, we learned a few things as well. What were they? 
let's have a quick review. We learned how simple and easy it is to reconcile an account in QuickBooks. We saw how to do reconciliation in stages by using save for later option. If we had made any errors while reconciling, we also know now how to undo reconciliations in QuickBooks. Well, that was great learning through observation.